Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode, we're off to Bruno next, and then we go to the Red Bull ring for the round after that. So uh, let's see how we get on at Bruno. I'm not holding my breath for a good result, but we'll see what we can do. Let's get on. Qualifying, absolutely abysmal. The Aprilia feels good around here. Like getting through the corner is absolutely fine. It's just... Can't get near their lap time, so we're starting second to last. 22nd place, just ahead of Alex Marquez, who is starting dead last. So, yeah, my time around here has been very, very bad. Right, let's go. It's going to be damage limitation, so let's hope we can get at least some points. But, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what we can do. We've already made up a few plays. We're almost in the points already. 16th at the moment. Now we're into 12th, 11th. Oh, Mir coming back through. So we're into 12th place. That is a, a few points, not many. Up the inside of Mir and Petrucci as well. No. Oh, thanks, Morbidelli. In fact, Morbidelli, that little clip there just helped me through. We're inside the top 10. We are in ninth position just behind Jack Miller and Alex Rins. So we are nearly in 8th position. Only 5 laps around here. Miller's trying to get past Rins, but Rins is on the inside. Miller's going very wide, as was Rossi. Oh, no, not quite close enough to get up the inside of Miller yet. Oh, he's gone wide up the inside now. He's gone wide on the exit. No, not quite. Can't quite get that Ducati at the moment. On the brakes, down into Swant's corner. And he's wide. I'm a little bit wide as well. But we are eventually through into 8th position. Well, that's a lot better than I was expecting it to be. But it's whether we can stay here or can we get a bit further th forward. We're just behind Alex Rins and Rossi. So we're not too far away. But... We'll have to wait and see what we can do. Oh, that is Miller trying to get back through, but he wasn't quite close enough. Alex Marquez hasn't made much progress from the back of the grid. Yeah, it's just acceleration is where we are suffering with the Aprilia around here. Like I said, I couldn't get anywhere near their times in free practice and in qualifying as well. So, not ideal. I mean, FP2, I was 13th quickest overall, so it wasn't too bad. But then came qualifying, and yeah, I just couldn't get anywhere near them. So, not great, but we're, we are in 8th position, which is okay. We're going to lose points here. I know we're going to lose points here. It was bound to happen. Um, but there's just a bit of a gap emerging between Rins and myself and it just seems like they're just starting to edge away slightly gonna keep pushing just to try and stay with them but yeah that gap is just getting bigger and bigger definitely don't have the pace on the Aprilia I mean the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter what bike I've used around here I've always struggled against the AI. Obviously, some bikes I'll be a bit higher up. Um, other bikes, you know, around the same sort of area I am now. So, it's not a complete disaster if we finish in 8th. But, you know, if I was on a better bike, I might be able to get maybe 4th position. Not necessarily a podium. But, um, yeah, we shall find out maybe next season when we get on a uh, on a Honda which is going to be the plan providing we can wrap up the title with the Aprilia this season and it's going to be difficult when we get rounds like this I know that Aragon I know we won at Aragon last season with the Red Bull KTM but with the Aprilia I think we might struggle there even more so but um, yeah Red Bull ring that's going to be a tough race We've not got the speed on the Aprilia. So that's going to be a very difficult race. I 
Right. Well, we're not going to catch Rins. 1.4, but we're not escaping from Miller, which is a little bit worrying. Jack Miller, we have not dropped him. We've gone wide there through turn five again. So we might not necessarily stay in eighth position. There's quite a queue of them behind me. But yeah, getting inside the top seven, that is definitely gone now. The gap is well over a second. And now it's just a case of trying to hold on to eighth position. Rear tyre is getting quite warm, starting to wear out more and more. And we have got just over two laps remaining. See what we can do. Can we finish an eighth? If I can finish an eighth, that won't be so bad. But I don't think it's going to be that simple. We got half a second over Miller at the moment. But he's going to close back in. Right, two laps to go. 54-3 from Dovi. I don't think I've even been in the 54s at all this race. We've just done a 55-9. We're well over a second slower than Dovi. So this is not looking great but like I said I'm just going to have to try and defend because Miller is fast approaching one mistake from me he is going to come through there he is not quite close enough to get through but he was there waiting for me to go a bit wider now we're in trouble this is the penultimate uh, lap of the race of course, we can put it on power mapping too towards the end of this lap and ready for the final lap. And the rear is really starting to move around now, especially on the right-hand side of the tyre. Like I said, the pretty handles were around here. It's just not that fast. Pretty much the same complaints with the Aprilia here. I know we've won a few races this season. But we have uh, had pretty much the same problem. Mainly acceleration. Right, up the hill we go. We've got just over a lap to go. And then that will be the race done. Power mapping up to two now for the rest of the race. Let's see if that's going to be enough to keep uh, Jack Miller at bay. At the moment, no, because I can hear him right behind. 54-2 for Dovi. Again in the 54s. Again, I was not. That was a 56-0. Nowhere near that lap times. I can't do those kinds of lap times with this bike. Miller is all over the back of me. This is the final lap of the race. Come on, Aprilia, please. Eighth place. That will be fine. That will be fine. I can I can live with that. But Miller's not going to make it easy. Although Mir has just got ahead of him. Miller's gotten back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay concentrated. Keep that gap as it is. 3.8 to Rins. 0.4 back to Miller. Is that going to be enough? Into Swan's corner for the final time. Damage limitation. Are we going to get 8th position a little bit wide through turn 11? OK, 
Okay, through turn 12, we've got two corners to go. Gap is 0.4 back to Miller. That might just be enough. I think we got this. I think we're going to get eighth position. Dovey's already finished. We are going to get eighth. So that is something, I guess. But that was a tough race. That was very tough. Yeah, Dovey, 54-2. I didn't even get in the 54s at all. Ika Laquena done a 54-1. Right, yeah, that's down to 20 points now, so less than a whole race win's worth to Marquez. We're 53 points behind Ducati, and only three points ahead of Ducati in the Constructors' Championship. So, not ideal, but I've done the best job I could. And that was eighth place, which is better than crashing and getting no points whatsoever, so we'll take that. Okay. Red Bull rank. This is probably going to be a difficult race as well with all the straights. So let's get on with it. So we're definitely doing better than what we've done at Bruno. Straight through to Q2 for this one. Times are very, very close. So we're not actually losing as much time as I thought we would. I mean, usually... I think pretty much every bike I've come here with, we've pretty much been either on the front row or on pole position. And, you know, usually we're a little bit quicker than everyone else. But with the Aprilia, we're not quite as quick as everyone else. We are close, but not faster. So it's going to be interesting to see where we end up qualifying at the moment. So just under 11 minutes to go. We're currently in 7th place. But we're 3 tenths under the lap time. What that lap time is, I do not know. It's not putting it up on screen. Okay. Two corners to go. The very bumpy Red Bull ring. We've lost a bit of time. We usually lose time through Sector 3 anyway. But not as much as I thought we would. Okay. What is this lap time going to be? Where is it going to put us? Second position, 24-2. So we're starting down in sixth position. Look how close those times are. Top six covered by a tenth of a second that is crazy so sixth position 94 degrees medium front gonna have to go for a hard rear because otherwise the medium tire is just gonna wear out so yeah it is time to go racing we need a good start we need a good run through turn one otherwise we're gonna be immediately on the back foot that was an okay start. Oh, we're a little bit later on the brakes and Dovey. We are through into the lead, just about. I'm expecting Dovey to come past. I can hear that decay. He shouldn't be able to get me on the brakes. That's uh, one of the advantages of the Aprilia. Can brake later because we're not going as fast. So we've actually eked out a little gap there. So that was pretty much an ideal start. We managed to get into the lead by turn one and uh, make a little gap. But we're coming into sector three now. And that is where the AI are usually a bit better. We've got half a second over Dovey at the moment. So through turn seven, this is where they start closing in usually. Got a little gap still. Half a second exactly over Dovey. A little wide into the final corner, but that is the end of lap one of seven. We are leading, but not by much. 0.4 of a second. Dovey second, Marquez third. Main championship rivals, of course. We 
to try and make sure we beat them this time because uh, we go to Silverstone after this one, which, you know, I've had good good results there, but that is usually quite a difficult race. And I think it's going to be very difficult with the Aprilia. And, uh, yeah, I think we may end up losing a few points there. But we'll have to wait and see. I think Mazzano will be safe. But then we get towards the end of the season as well. And of course we've got Aragon. We've got the likes of Phillip Island as well. Which I love Phillip Island. But during one of the recent updates. They've made the AI really really difficult to beat around there. So this championship may well go down to the wire. Which is why I'm holding off for signing a contract for next season. Just on the off chance that we don't actually win the championship because if we don't we're going to have to do another season on this Aprilia and ideally I would like to wrap it up this season and go on to a Honda next season but it all depends the good thing is if we do have to do another season of course the bike is going to be immediately better at round one than what it was this season because we've obviously developed it So we should, in theory, like first few rounds we should get better results than what we have this season. But again, just hoping that we do wrap it up this season. That would be nice. And we can go to Honda and annoy the Honda riders like they've been doing that to me. We're not pulling away as much as I thought we would. In fact, we're not really pulling away at all. What's the gap now? Is it still half a second? Yeah, it's still half a second. So, yeah, not looking great at the moment. Okay, just use all the green. There we go. <laughs> hear that Ducati closing though 0.3 of a second that is going to be our main concern down the straights is that Ducati getting us I think we get a slight better run through turn one but just looking at that mini map and looking behind he is closing he's closing and we are of course later on the brakes into turn three which is ideal because it means he's not going to dive bomb me but on the other hand, he just catches back up on the straights and, of course, Sector 3 as well. So, yeah, Silverstone next time out. 0.6 of a second we got over Dovi at the moment. We need to try and beat him. We can't lose twice to him in a row. basically just got to take the wins you know when they become an opportunity to win we need to take them so we've done a few damage limitation races this season already by Assen Dovi 24-8 I've done a 24-9 so Dovi is going a bit quicker Crutchlow even quicker again 24-6 Mode GP19 Crutchlow used to win here Quite often, his pace around here used to be really good in no MotoGP 19. But yeah, we're not getting away. We are not getting away from Dovi at all. That wheelie wouldn't have helped either. Please, 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 please. We need to win. Half a second. Dovi, stay away. I can hear him. I can hear him. 
We've got two laps to go to try and hold on. And it looks like he's getting closer and closer. 0.2 of a second. Is he going to mug me on the final lap? Because if he does, I'm not going to be happy. So we have got two laps to go. Dovi and Marquez are very close. Rins are fast. Slap the race 24 6. Where is Rins? 7th place. Rossi 24 5. Come on, we can do this. Just got to hold out for the remainder of this lap and one more lap. And we will, of course, use power mapping too for the final lap. Which should help a little bit. Come on, Aprilia. Gap is still half a second. We can turn it up to power mapping one in a minute. Power mapping two even. We're already on power mapping one. So come out of it. We can turn it up and then do the rest of the race with power mapping two. Right, let's do it. Dovi's close. Point two still. He's not leaving me alone. Dovi wants it. But he can't have it. One lap to go. Come on. Still 0.2 over the line. Rossi 24-4. Rossi's down in 8th position. Come on, this is it. This is a final lap of the race. Stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. Point three at the moment into turn three. Got the bike stopped perfectly. Got a good run out as well. That's given us a little bit of a lead. Downhill into turn four. Bit wide. I'm glad I didn't go for the medium rear tyre. That wouldn't have lasted. 0.8 at the moment. That's the biggest the gap's been for quite a while. And we've got to go through 7 and 8. Tell you what, that's probably the best I've gone through 7 and 8 all race because that gap has pretty much stayed at 0.8. We've got one corner to go. This has been a good lap time. Right, run to the line. We're going to win. We're just going to hold off Dovi. I think that was a 24-0 as well. I think we may have just... We did. We set the fastest lap of the race on the final lap. 24.096. Fastest lap of the race on the final lap of the race. Well, if there's any time to do the fastest lap of the race, it's definitely on the final lap. We just managed to hold off Dovi by 0.4 of a second. We've got 29 points now over Marquez and 31 over Dovi. So we've got over a whole race win's worth again, which is uh, ideal. 55 points behind Ducati and 8 points ahead of Ducati. So things are looking okay. We've got a little bit of leeway, but yeah, we go back home to Silverstone next, which is going to be a difficult race. I know that. to see how it goes but uh yeah our work is not done yet that was a tough race despite winning that it was not easy Dovi would not leave us alone he was just waiting for that that mistake to allow him through but we didn't make it but there we are top three of the championship or on the podium they're both being more consistent this season I have to say both Dovi and Marquez despite obviously Satsum Ring where all the AI crashed out which was a very bizarre race 
Those two have been very consistent, which is why it's making it very difficult for me to to build up much of a lead in the championship. I know we've got 29 points now, but still not much. A couple of bad rounds for me, and that will close right up again. Okay. So we are looking... We're looking good at the moment. We can head back to Silverstone uh, with some good results. Uh, electronics is now finished. Um, we've got... Can we do anything on engine? Yes, we can. Right. Get that done. We need more power. Mainly more acceleration is what we need. The Aprilia is definitely lacking in that department. Frame is happening at the moment. Um, okay, so we can put people on electronics to research. Not that we're really going to have enough points for the rest of the season now to do anything more for electronics, but it is what it is. Okay, so we can advance the weeks. Still got, well, we've got 16 weeks left on aero now, so that's going to take ages. Right, Moto3, Masia is leading that from Yamanaka in second, Tate third, Sasaki fourth, and Albert Arenas is in fifth. So all change in the top seven there. Moto2 is Dallaporta leading that from Baldessari down to second, Schrotter third, Luti fourth, and Kana in fifth. So it's just between the top two in that one. And obviously, I'm leading MotoGP from Marquez in second. Dovi third, uh, Quattararo fourth, and Crutchlow in fifth. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.